Welcome back guys to another playthrough part of uh, Resident Evil 3. It didn't go too well the last time, but I'm hoping to get past this section now. I have to say, I'm, I really am detesting this boss fight. I'll keep the flame rounds. I still need room for. Should I take away EMP modes? In these two. I'm just going to keep it like this. What happens if I... Ah, oh, okay. Let's try this again. Is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. A healing. Watch it, you've got company. He's hiding behind tank seven. He's behind number seven. Oh, that's to be like rapid. Okay, whatever. All right, yeah. When you reload, you can't dodge. T 
10 out of 10 balanced gameplay. Reload, you can't dodge. Oh, well, yeah. Very balanced. Can I... Oh, okay. He was there, but whatever. Sure, man. Sure. Sure, sure. Oh, I'm dead. The three-point combo. The three-point bullshit combo that insta-kills you if, uh, if you're in its strange. Such a gimmicky boss fight. No challenge, just gimmick, gimmick, gimmick. Oh, oh, okay. So that counted. That that counted to hit me, right? That counted to hit me. Whatever. Whatever. Filthy fucking boss fight. Yes. That hit. Does he just die from conventional rounds? Like if I shoot him enough, does he die? Or do I really have to go for those weak spots? Yeah, I don't have enough ammo for this. Pretty sure I, pretty sure I dodged. I'm pretty sure I dodged. Yeah. So unfair. It knocks him on the side where I can't reach him. It's, it's great. They should have a more gimmicky boss fight next time. Like more gimmicks. They need more gimmicks in this.
Not dead, right? Oh, dead, finally. Oh, come on, just give me the cutscene. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't pick up the shotgun ammo, you're gonna... Okay, well, it's forcing me to leave that ammo behind. Such a boring fight. Boring as fuck, this fight. Way too many gimmicks. I need his health. Okay, well I used up all my rounds except for one. I'm not gonna Oh, you might find, I might find more. behind hmm. is that it they gave they gave me too little that's it okay but there's there's no point unless I find some shotgun ammo outside I'm not even gonna bother I still have most of my magnum bullets, so... <sighs> it's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You drink money. I like them. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh. 
Ähm. Okay. That was, uh, yeah. No, I was wondering if I could just fast it. Cause Nemesis is just really... It's not even a scare thing, it's... I'm just so bored of seeing him. There's no difficulty, he's just he's just a nuisance. Oh, no point in me taking a knife. I mean Yeah, I mean they give you enough, so might as well take the knife. It just to take it, but no real point. So boring. <laughs> Even when it flops, it does damage. Oh, fuck. Be careful, even a light tap will uh, send me reeling.
dodged too early. Just end it. There was a first aid spray still over here. I'm really hoping that's the last time. Nemesis was first, he was cool, but he overstayed, and then it just, his boss fights were just so tedious. They put like a little secret back here or something. Umbrella to rupture. Ten minutes until missile is ah. The missile has launched. And it might be here. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Nikolai is so one hand in this one. Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! There's no other way! Carla! Hey! I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. <laughs> Tag for everything, even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? I'll tell you if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool. If I die, the man. 
never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. <laughs> over. So long, Percy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. It was greed. Human I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Hmm. Well, they didn't include Barry in the ending, and Nikolai was supremely one note. I know in the original he was also a bit more sinister, but... He at least gave off an illusion, like he was a more cold-hearted, battle-hardened uh, vet that just didn't care much, just wanted to survive. In this one, it's it's too ham-fisted that he's obviously the villain. And we already know because of the original game, but still a little, a little change would have been nice or subvert my expectations, like Tyrell in the original, he just died off really fast to Nikolai. But, oh well. The game overall isn't bad, but there's too many... For me, there's too many ham-fisted action bits. Nemesis becomes such a chore to fight. It's not even a scare factor. He's just annoying. And, well, there's a lot of things that just feel too Resident Evil 5 6 just Instead of, like, uh... The last remake where it felt more natural, for example, Mr. X was actually on the premises. He was in the RPD looking for you, and this nemesis just appears. And if you stay inside a safe room, he'll wait outside the safe room. He won't leave. And it's like, oh, you know, if whoever argues that, well, he knows you're there, so of course he's going to stay outside. I mean... They're just doors. I'm pretty sure Nemesis could rip them off, the same with Mr. X. They could have at least given a little bit of leeway there just to allow you some breathing room. And he just appears. There's no sense that he's stalking. Again, in the original, he felt it felt natural when he jumped in, like he was looking for you. And he found you just at those specific intervals. And here it's just, he appears, hey. And then... You know, goes off. Oh, there's a end cutscene. Oh, that was either Jill or it was either Jill or Chris. Uh, I guess. Yeah, not exactly the best score, but hey, it's the first time, so I wouldn't say it's bad. 
This is just me getting used to the game. Escape stars. Escapee. <laughs> oh, and you unlock a little end game shop. Right, what's in the shop? Oh, that's pretty cool. Where held, carry two to increase. Huh. Any of stars close for any combat ever. Such as perfumes. Oh. Okay. So you basically just get stuff off the bat. Instead of having to look for it. What the fuck? Ah, uh, they do have the similar ledge. Exceptional accuracy and power. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it gives you something at the end to do. But still, these are kind of basic things. It's not all that impressive. Last one, you could at least have them move. And it's really a shame about Brad Vickers. So he gets bit, what, twice on the arm? And he's fucked. It's infection. It's something else I don't really like. That the infection is spread via bites. I mean, it was implied in the originals, but it gave more the idea that if you were bitten, you still had to die for the virus to take proper hold on you. And this, it's one bite, so apparently Jill didn't get bitten, or anybody in the uh, T uh, virus outbreaks, they never got bit or suffered any sore or scratch. Good to see Marv, how Marvin got bit, though. Nice little thing, though. It's a shame, though, that you don't actually see these models move. That's weird that Nemesis became just a liquor thing. It's an enhanced liquor. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty cool to see, I guess. Central Okay. It would be nice to see some more scenes like uh, this where there's like a horde of zombies where you overlook it. That would have been interesting to see. But it was very little. I was hoping they would show more of the initial bits of the outbreak instead it was just that tiny one minute bit and then that was it hmm. alright this is down stage Oh, these are the things that give you all the LP, or RP, or P, or whatever, the points. I mean, it does... These challenges do give some replayability, but it's still that thing of... Um, it really is still that thing of... You'd have to replay this over and over and over again just to get these, like, 10,000 zombies. Just, or 1,000, sorry, 1,100. It, it seems just excessive. Excuse me. Uh -huh. yeah, weapon parts. I'm guessing I'd have to take down Nemesis each time. I missed some story files. Hmm. 
Oh, let's be trying to play this again. Try and get a better score, but that I'll be doing without recording. A box sprinter. Hmm. All right. Does it unlock like new difficulty? So. Ah, oh, so there's one more difficulty nightmare. I'm guessing it's like uh, the last one where you need ink ribbons to save and all. Hmm. So, so hardcore you have to beat it at that time. Okay. Alright. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed my little first playthrough of Resident Evil 3. Like I had said before, I didn't uh, see any uh, playthroughs or such. I saw little bits of the demo, but that was it. I didn't play the demo. So, yeah. In the end, I'd say it was a, it was a decent-ish game, but for full price... I mean, if you've got Resident Evil 2, it's good enough. You don't really need this one. The multiplayer side of it isn't that great. It's just a really cookie cutter plain one versus four mastermind shit and it's it's not really that balanced it's more if the team plays well then they win i mean it's like all games you know if the team plays well but it's always that one-sided ham fisting where the mastermind either wins by a landstorm a landslide or it's the players that win by a landslide and it's really not that interesting i would have preferred like uh, outbreak files or stories or something just to accompany this game because right now it feels a bit bone barren this i took that long but that was me nitpicking and going back in the boxes and such it's mm. oh, i'm not too impressed with this game but it wasn't that bad so if you can pick it up on a disc i recommend it so i'll catch you guys next time or another playthrough